Hi, I'm Fiddlin' Ray. Welcome to my Fiddle Dojo. I know that I say that um, these are one of my... I, I usually say this is one of my favorite tunes at the beginning of, of a video, or I say that this is my favorite tune in the video. Um, because if I'm teaching it, it's probably because I like it. But this is actually my favorite tune. Um, it's called Old Grimes. It is a old-time fiddle tune, but I've been noticing it pop up in the bluegrass circles more and more. It's a great song, and I, I want to see it pop up more and more, so I'm going to show it to you. I'll play it once through, and then I will switch the handy-dandy hand cam on, and uh, I'll, I'll show it to you phrase by phrase. So, f fiddle tunes are funny, right? There's a hundred different ways to play each one of them, and they're all exactly the same, but completely different at the same time. So, just to avoid any confusion, if you see me staring at the screen, I have one version picked out to show you, um, but that does not mean you have to, you know, stick with it, you know, find your own way that you like to play it, but I have the melody in front of me. So, let me turn this on. So, we're going to start. This is a... Like almost all fiddle tunes, it's 32 bars long. It's an eight part repeated, followed by another eight part repeated. I'm going to break each part into two bar phrases. So here is phrase one. <laughs> I guess it would probably help if I mentioned that this is in the key of D. Um, I'll play that again. Knowing that, we're going to start on an A note of our G string. Play that one more time. Yeah, so then the second phrase... Those last two notes, they might sound kind of funny, like they don't fit, but that's just because they're going to lead us into the next phrase. So here's the second phrase one more time. Ah, sorry. Right? Just forget the last thing that I played. Rewind. Take two. Second phrase. One, two, three, four. again then the I believe the third phrase is the same as the first it is so let me recap all of that because I missed it up so phrase one Phrase two. Phrase three. Now here's phrase four. I'll play that again. We have the same thing happening there at the end. We're playing D, B, because that's going to take us back to the top of the tune. So that's phrase one. That's A, D, E, D, D, E, F, A, B, A. Phrase two 
is B A B C D B A B A F E D B phrase three A D E D D F E F A B A fourth phrase B A B C D B A F E F D you know and then there's a second ending right so the last two notes are, of, of that phrase are going to change the second time that we play the tune because the B part's going to go up here on the E string so let me just play you that whole part one two three four <laughs> that e string okay yeah so that's the whole first part hopefully you're bearing with me i know you're doing a great job let's go to the b part all right so this is the first phrase of the b part it's going to start with f sharp on our e string i'll play that again a little slower maybe So there's our first phrase. Here's our second phrase. Now we're going to get way up here. We're going to use our, our third and fourth finger on our E string. So try that again. And then the first time I played that, I forgot these two notes right because it's going to take us back to that f sharp so that third this is the second phrase and i'll play that one more time and i'll make sure i get those last two leading notes at the end here's the third phrase same as the first accidentally went into the fourth phrase there too which is also the same as the fourth phrase in the a part so here's that so let me go through this one more time and i'll kind of spell out those notes for you so it's f f g f e d e f d e d b a a lot of notes but second phrase a b a b a f a b f a f e d e third phrase f f g f e d e f d e d b a b a b c d b a F D F D right and then depending on the last two notes that you play in that phrase are dependent upon which part of the song you're in so the last time that you play it well I should say the first time that you play it you're gonna play D E because that takes you back to the B part which starts on that F sharp the last time you play it you're gonna want to play D 
B. Because usually at this part of the tune, um, you know, there's no more music after this, but we're going to loop back to the top of the song. So I'll play the whole thing for you a couple times through so you can see how that all pieces together. Just a disclaimer, I think I played the B part a little differently than I showed you. It goes... The way I showed you, right? It's A, B. When I played it, I played... I played two Bs there. Two short Bs instead of one long B. Um, but the tune is still the same. Form is still the same. The parts are still the same. And you'll be able to play the way I showed you right underneath the way I played it um, just now. So hopefully that all makes sense. Turn this off. Hopefully that all makes sense um, and that you have a new tune under your belt now. Uh, if you have any questions or you think I could do something better, please leave a comment in the comments below. Um, and before you leave, please hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.